I don't know which way should I try to bring it in. Jod started to work on the trees right away in the morning before work <laughs> and he's going to continue after work when he gets home. One part of me is very scared from this project but the other one <laughs> it's very curious. Saturday, Jot is already working and <laughs> <Ooh. gasps> oh, the puff of smoke. How do you, where do you put Come your feet? There? It's easier if you grab ah. that. Okay, are you sure we're not going to flip over? Mm -hmm. So what do I have to push? Ooh. Hi, is the door? It doesn't have a door. It's open. Ooh. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Don't I'm let it go. I'm grabbing it, I'm grabbing it. What do I have to push? It's going to happen if I pull that one. You lift it up. <gasps> okay. Uh. <laughs> Forward, then it's scooping. If, if you push it forward, then it goes down. Okay. If you pull it, yours. Okay, your that's way, easy. Okay, that's way. easy. Okay, and then left. And then that one is As if if you that. open it up, if you pull it, it closes it. Oh. So you have to push this forward, the right forward. Wait, is that tree can fall on the neighbor's no. house? No. It will not on the house, but it will fall on the property. Okay. With their permission. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that, that don't stop instantly because then it's... Well, I have to because my brain cannot process what I'm doing. Slow, you slowly stop going. Same way. Okay. 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 Wow. If you want to scoop, then you pull it. That's the that's that, Why is it moving? That's the window handle. Oh, Actually, oh, that, oh. That, that's how you open it. What, what can <laughs> I hang on to then? You need to turn around. Are you don't, sure don't, I'm not going to fall off? Yeah, you cannot do I, it. I'm trying. Stay holding the handle. Okay. Can I hang oh, yeah, on to yeah, that? That's, that's the handle. Okay, yeah. okay. That's one more step right there. I know, but I can see it. Yeah, that's why you need to. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. This is the point where I gave up in the past. <laughs> I just couldn't pass to learn this software. But I'm kind of hoping since I learned editing, it will be a little bit, not easier, but I feel a little bit more comfortable to learn new things. <laughs> Me and technology, we have a love and hate relationship. Well, more like a hate, but <laughs> I see the potential what I can do with the technology, I'm just not patient enough and I get frustrated. And I'm very a uh, visual and kinetic person, so sitting down and listening to something to learn it, uh, that's not something I really enjoy. But 
I do enjoy the result, so I have to just suck it up <laughs> and push this through. I already got some process in the learning curve because I was able to do something this morning I wasn't in the recent years. <laughs> that was utterly confusing to me, but now I think there are uh, more and better videos on that. It's my issue was like there was always a, di a different layout on the video than my software was shown. So that was the issue. That's why I couldn't handle it. But now there are more videos out and it's more helpful that way. We'll see where it goes. But I really want to learn this. I really do. I think it's necessary in the today's world as an artist to do something digitally, not just by hand. Especially in the future, if I'm planning to create a children's book, um, I have to deal with that part too. I think it's good for the brain. Challenge is always good for the brain. So I'm just gonna go for it. Cause I found my way We just had a conversation with the neighbor uh, We just got new neighbors mm, about a couple of months ago So they want to tear down their house and they're going to start to build a house So that was another thing why we had to take care of the trees so make sure it doesn't fall on them because everything leaning towards their property and they are the sweetest people ever we cannot wait to have them over here we just really lucky with this both side with neighbor wise did you clean out the cabin yeah it was so dusty he had to it's use nice. the blower okay so this is basically the space where we are planning to put the studio in can you guys see that this is gonna be the floor yes i'm, I'm walking in okay <laughs> you're walking in okay <laughs> oh hey shut the door the bug's gonna go in no, shut no, the door this is the front porch oh it's gonna be oh yeah because there's that tree okay this is gonna be a front porch can we put it that way so it would open that way you mean the door opens that uh-huh because it would be a little bit further and we can have more garden yeah, there you're gonna have to walk that much farther in dark <laughs> Good point. <laughs> no, don't pull me. I'm not ready. You gotta do it with speed. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, these are leaning. Okay. Time. So if something happens, it will straight fall on their property. And they so already concerned. They are concerned. We are yes. concerned <laughs> too. Yeah. Yeah, and they are. Who wouldn't be? And then these are not even as bad as some of those a little bit further. So they are kind of leaning to that direction and then also the branches. It's all the weight on one side. And this is how all the trees are inside of this uh, crop. Like there's no branches on the tree, just on the top. So nowhere else. But these uh, trees with no branches all the way till the top is perfect for lumber and once that area is done with the garden and the shop and then the studio and then we're going to plant some trees and bushes and i'll do some landscaping do some landscaping and then we're going to continue with the rest because that's going to be a little bit more risky because we got the power line there we have done other sketchy projects before right oh my goodness <gasps> a lot on the roof too what was the issue apparently the safety pedal that you have to push you're not supposed to push it all the time <laughs> Three feet between them on the bottom and then when you go up you can't really see because it, the video gets really bright from the sky 
there's at least five feet between the top so yeah. those trees are leaning probably like two feet to tell you the truth i slept better yesterday knowing that there's no tree that can fall on the house because that was our concern as well but we knew if we start to take out one tree then we have to take out them all because it's kind of like a domino effect if you take one out the rest will come so but now with the rest of the property it's fine if they're going to start to fall because at least we got the space now to work around with Joat is still working on the outside this is the last day he has the excavator, so he really needs to wrap this up. As I'm getting ready to decorate my studio, I ordered this beautiful paper house from Annie. She has this beautiful shop, it's called the Belgium paperwork and she makes this incredible handmade houses i will leave her information down below in my description box if you want to check out her store but i have a couple of houses from her and i just love her work so much that is even more beautiful in real life Jyoti, come check out you gotta see that when the studio is done i'm thinking to have a light beige orange cream color warm toned theme because orange color is very inspiring to me it's just full of warmness and then it fills me with energy and i find this beautiful curtain at world markets it's kind of like an egg yolk color but it will bring sunshine to the cloudy days that we mostly have <laughs> on the fall winter and even on the spring Dusting. So you have a brown pants on? I remember you had a gray one. Yeah, I changed it. <laughs> Not only that, I can end up restyling the inside of it. Once oh, it's that is all dust. That's all dust. So you might want to take a shower tonight, huh? <laughs> yes, probably. <laughs> that's, that's a... It looks like you covered with a cocoa powder. I mean, oh, so yeah. fine. I'm dust. My face is dusty too. It's not as bad than the other day, but you got some. Okay guys, so for now I'm going to work on the garden because the rain is on the way. It's coming. So the day after tomorrow, I think it's officially then we're going to start to have a fall weather. Meaning of that goodbye sun until next June. <laughs> Uh, I'm laughing now, but I shouldn't be. I will be crying on that. This year I had a couple of good harvests, like potatoes were great and cucumbers did very well. Zucchinis, eh, they weren't as bad either. <laughs> I got a lot of little itty bitty pumpkins and um, what else, peppers did well. Tomatoes, green onions, um, leeks and sunflowers. They did really, really good this year. Uh, cabbages, they started out really good but they turned out to be uh, a huge disappointment because they started to attract a lot of bugs so i have to look into what i have to plant next to it and also i have to take care of it right away when i discover it has some bugs because i just couldn't get around that so 
it's got infected the whole entire bed so that wasn't good because it started out good so I think it was my responsibility where I dropped the balls um, and I didn't take care of the bugs with some soapy water but next year I still have some kills and since we're going to move the whole entire garden <laughs> which makes me tired even think about it <laughs> but it, it's gonna be great guys because i'm going to have so much bigger space there and just better conditions because now we have some pine trees above this garden and it just makes the dirt so bad it's just um ruins it uh, because of the lots of sap um, so i'm looking forward to have this garden on the other side of the property and Probably I have to figure out <laughs> the layout for that, but it's gonna be so much fun. This year I had a lot and especially those little pumpkins, the green onions and leeks were a great harvest this year. I think each year has its own vegetable that is doing well and this year seems to be the potatoes were just a hit. Like I got a lot more out than I thought I will and they, they are so shiny and clean and oh they look so happy and healthy. And, and I got some big ones too and little ones these are gonna be so delicious but I think I'm getting a little bit overheated so I'm gonna go inside and take a break Finally things are arriving and this is another thing for my shop and that is a label printer so I have to figure out uh, the packaging system and all how it works. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a big bite but hey I'm gonna go for that and also this is gonna be another happy decoration for there. I went out with my friends the other day we just spent a day together and we checked out some stores they had some paper arts and that's where I picked up this umbrella which is perfectly suits in my case as as we have lots of rain and I love that it has multiple colors and it's made from paper I thought I just have to put it together I didn't know I have to fold that so it's even more fun that I can make it but I was a little bit surprised first like oh wow that's a lot of circle <laughs> but once it's gonna be done I'm going to just work on it uh, step by step as my time allows but once it's gonna be done I think it's gonna be a happy addition to my studio to draw the plans for the studio where I want the windows to be I really want to have a lot of window on it since I want to have a, l a lots of light <laughs> and Joette will convert this into a more appropriate one where we can ask the permit for but right now I just I just want to put it on paper how I want the studio
Should we put that there? Or should I back up a little bit? So that would be the corner and I would have this cute tree next to it. Yeah, so the front, I would say that's too close enough to the tree. We don't want to get any closer. Yeah. So the corner should be where I'm sta standing at. Oh, that far from that tree? Uh -huh. Yeah, the roof will have overhang. Oh, so okay. You, you, you don't, so you we have to be far. But then I'm going to see those trees from the door which is a good thing okay so this is gonna be the view from the door you i get, like it we're gonna leave that tape right the tape yeah that's the the and we'll my main concern <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video and as we have more progress in this studio building I will post that to you guys. See you soon in the next video. Bye!